WriteSonic is now even more powerful with our all new Zapier integration. Now you can post the content generated by WriteSonic's AI to more than 5,000 applications in just one click. Let me show you how. So here I am on the WriteSonic dashboard. Now what I'm going to do is head over to the top right hand corner and click on my name over here. Now I'm going to click on the integrations tab. This will take us to the WriteSonic integrations page where you can find a bunch of other integrations that we have. For example, SEMrush, WordPress.com, .org, and so on. Now here you'll find a new card called Zapier. So click on the connect button. This will generate an API key that will use on Zapier to connect with WriteSonic. So once you have clicked the connect button, the next thing that you are going to do is head over to zapier.com. You'll need a Zapier account in order to access this integration. So if you don't already have one, feel free to create a Zapier account, it's free. And uh, then once you've created the account, you can find this create Zap button on the Zapier dashboard. So click on create Zap. Now in the first section where it says trigger, we are going to search for WriteSonic. I'm going to select the first option over here called WriteSonic latest beta. Next in the event, I'm going to choose new copy published. Click continue. Then click on the sign in button. So this will load the Zapier to WriteSonic connection window, which will ask you for your API key. Now, what you're going to do is head back to the integrations page on WriteSonic, you know, where we click the connect button and click on the API key to copy it. Now we are going to head back to that window um, that we opened from Zapier. Going to paste our API key over here and going to click on yes, continue. Now what this will do is it will basically connect your WriteSonic account with Zapier. So here you can see WriteSonic account and it says WriteSonic and then my name. Next click on continue. In the publishing destination, we are going to enter the app that we want to connect to. You can use an identification name for that application. For example, let's say if we are building a Zapier Zap for posting WriteSonic generated tweets to our Twitter account, then I'm going to just enter here personal Twitter account. I'm going to click on refresh fields button and then going to click on continue. Once that's done, click on test trigger. This will auto select the copy A option over here. You don't need to do anything. Just click on continue again. Now this is the second screen, which is for the action, which is what you want to do once this zap triggers. So in our case, let's say if we want to publish a tweet generated by WriteSonic to our Twitter account, then I'm going to click on Twitter. You can also just search for any application that Zapier integrates with. So I'm going to select Twitter over here. Then here where it says event, click on create tweet because we want to post a tweet to Twitter. Click on continue. Next, similar to how we connected with our WriteSonic account, Zapier will ask us to authenticate or basically log into our Twitter account. So click on this sign in button. Then it is going to ask you to follow Zapier's Twitter account. If you want, you can, but I'll just select no over here and click on continue. Now it will ask you to authorize Zapier to connect with your Twitter account. So I'll just click on authorize app button over here. Similarly, if you're trying to connect with any other application like you know Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever it is, you, you might get a similar screen over there. Once you're connected with your Twitter account or the other application that you want to connect to, it will show over here the name of that account. So I'm just going to click on continue. Now we are going to set up our actions so in the message field over here. Just click on that, which will open up this pop-up for insert data. Now we are going to select this option where it says this is a sample data string. So just click on that and then click outside. This will basically load that text. This is just a sample text we are going to post to our Twitter account to verify that the Zapier app, the automation works. So click on continue again. And then again, click on test and continue. 
Now this will post this sample text. This is a sample data string to your Twitter account. So we are going to head over to Twitter and just check. Okay, so if you see, this is a sample data string. It has been posted and when you click on that, it says Zapier over here. So this was just a test. So you feel free to delete that tweet because we no longer need that. And if it has been successfully posted to your Twitter account, just click on publish zap. Click on publish and turn on, and this will activate the zap on your Zapier account. So we are all done here. Now let's head back to write Sonic. And then let's try generating a tweet. So I'm going to head over to the tweet generation feature. In the topic, I'm going to enter, let's say marketing. Click on generate tweets. This will come back with three different Twitter tweet variations that we can choose from. All right, so we have three different options over here. Let's quickly go through them. Okay, let's go with the first option. So once you're happy with one of the options, just click on this publish to Zapier button on that copy. And this will load all these apps that are active on your account. So in this case, we just have one Zap personal Twitter account. If you have connected to multiple different Zaps, it will show a list of all of them over here. Now just click the publish button next to the Zap that you want to use. So in this case, I want to use the personal Twitter account Zap. I'm just going to click on publish. And you'll get a message once the copy has been successfully published. It says publish successfully. I'm going to head back to Twitter. And you can see over here, 10 seconds ago, the tweet has been posted. It even says Zapier here. So you can verify that it was actually posted by Zapier. And yeah, there you go. Similar to the Twitter generator, you can connect your Sonic account with like a bunch of different applications using Zapier and publish to them in one click. You just need to build a Zap similar to how we build the Twitter one. And uh, yeah, then you can publish it. We hope you like this video. Do let us know in the comments down below what kind of Zaps you built. And if there are any other integrations or any other features that you would like us to add, do comment that as well. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.